Exploration Day 6. Captain, we're so relieved that you're okay. Well, I had my faithful druid to thank for that. So, uh, thank you. I actually mistook that strange creature for you. You two have very similar features. Did you know that? To be honest, while trapped in the belly of the wild beast, I thought of only one face, Brittany. My own. Well, we'll never escape PNF 404 until we locate this treasure obsessed Olimar fellow. He's got our cosmic drive key. But don't forget why we're here to search for fruit for our planet. For us too, or else we'll starve. Hey, we oh, never mind. <laughs> What's that signal coming from over there? A signal like that? If it's not coming from our ship or one of us, maybe it's Olimar. With a transmitter that strong, it must be planetary explorers like us. It must be the Hokutation. And when where we fight Olimar, that's where we'll find our cosmic drive key. Let's track this signal to its source. Hey everybody, this is Joker Spice, bringing a little spice to your life. Last time, we rescued Captain Charlie from the clutches of the behemoth Fozbath. Fozbat, not Fozbath. That'd be pretty gross, I think. <laughs> um, sweet. So uh, now we are on our way to the tropical wilds. Let's do it. Yep. <clears throat> we have zero fruit here. We do have zero fruit here. I think it actually is possible to go to this level before this point in the story, but again, not very much of a reason to do so. Yeah. Especially since we only had one or two captains back then. Mm -hmm. It seems that the signal originated from this area. The treasure hunting Olimar must be here somewhere. You know, this is the first place I landed on this planet. Was he really here with our key the whole time? Plenty of time for nostalgia later. Let's track down that signal. And don't pass up any fruit we see on the way. Alright, let's do this. Uh, David, I have a question for you. Yeah? Um, do you want to get some fruit today, or do you want to get the objective right now, and, and, and then go to the next area in the next, in the next day? Um, I mean, we have quite a bit of fruit. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so, um, put away all the red Pikmin. They're not necessary. We only need yellow and rock Pikmin. Okay. All right. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab 25 of these guys, and uh, more of these rock Pikmin, and it's gonna be great. You say so, Chief. Oh Jesus. Ugh. All right. 25 of these. Yeah, I'm the same way too. All right, so um, uh, let's look at the map. I'm gonna explain what we need to do. So we want to get all the way over here, um, where where this big big old fruit here is, as well as the uh, the the service signal. We want to get there. The only way we can get there though is if we go through here. But we can't go through here because we need to push. Uh, there's like a box that we push there. So, our objective is to do exactly that. So, uh, you, uh, yeah, so we can basically split off here. You can take out, there's a, there's a guy beyond that wall, you can take him out. But there's also this enemy right here who's about to steal something. So I'm gonna kill him right now. He is dead. Uh, why don't you guys, why don't you take out that bulb orb and I'll go this way. What bulb orb? It's, uh, beyond that wall. Oh. Okay. If you want to switch captains, the way you do it is if you press the Y button and then you just select the captain you'd like to play as. Um, if you want, there's a bunch of Pikmin right here that you can just take. Here you go. Okay. So 
So, both of us have been pretty into Pikmin lately. I've been playing this game a little bit on my own. Um, I'm sure you have too. Mm -hmm. It's it's just so much fun, what can I say? So, I, I do know a little bit more about what I need to do in order to... Uh... Uh oh, wrong well, thing. I'm gonna collect this fruit. Ooh, it's a... Uh, looks like a mandarin. Is that is that what it is with a little little yeah, weird ear pocket? Sure that's, uh, I'm sure that's right, right? Yeah, because oranges are already in this game. It's not like grapefruit, is it? No. Grapefruits are like redder than that. Yeah. Okay, so this is the box we need to bring it. Yeah, exactly. So you're gonna go around there. But I need your help. Actually, we need it. It's a three captain thing. Okay. It's a good thing you got both the fruit. So okay. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, there's some bombs here. I'm gonna open up this shortcut. Um, actually, we need those blocks. We need those bombs. Oh, for what? Um, you'll see. But I actually need your help. Do you okay. want to come with me? Sure. All right, cool. Um, we don't need those Pikmin, so we can they can do that while you come with me. I got a special special mission for you. Okay. Well, three bombs out of there. Yep. And the harder difficulty, it actually spits out less bombs than that. Oh. I don't know, it's almost not fair. That's okay, we don't need those guys. We can grab them on the second run. David's using... Uh, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm struggling with the... Uh, using the Pro Controller a little bit. I feel like uh, the operation with the, uh, the combined ones is a little bit different. Maybe we can try something in the settings? Yeah. Um, oh, because maybe... Does it have gyro controls for you? Is that what is that what's going on? Oh, you know what? Let me, let me try that. Oh, yeah, it does have gyro controls. Oh, okay. but... Okay, yeah, can we turn off the gyro controls? Can we turn off the gyro controls for just one character? Like, if I do stick... Like, if I, if I do... Off. Like if I do off, does that mean? Yeah. Okay. This is what I was expecting. Yeah, but I don't have them anymore. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, you gotta love Nintendo games for for so many options. I yeah. love it. All right. Well, I guess I'll I'll figure it out. Oh, this sucks though. It doesn't make sense. Why would they force both players to play the same? Yeah, I was just like I was really confused why. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, don't we're gonna, like this? no, okay. we're gonna we're gonna throw you over there. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna throw you, and I'm also gonna throw Elf, and then I'm gonna throw you ten Pikmin. Probably more than ten. Oh, there's only eight. Oh, there's twelve. Okay. So then what you need to do is you need to throw a captain over, yeah, exactly. And I'll let you control um, Elf and push that box down. I guess, I might as well, I don't know, I guess I can get this through. Dividing the labor. Thanks game, we know what to do. We're professional Pikmin players. I mean, I'd love to be a professional Pikmin player. That sounds like a sweet gig. Yeah. All right, and with that box there, we can go ahead, grab all of our Pikmin, and go that direction. Mm -hmm. um, but we will need those bomb rocks first. Yeah. Or Allie, sorry. Brittany? Brittany, yeah. Whatever. Did you say Allie? I don't know. <laughs> Oh no! No! Not a repeat of day two! <laughs> oh, oh my right. goodness! Disaster averted. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not yet. We haven't even gotten to the boss yet. So what do we need those bombs for? Are we um, gonna use them on the boss? Oh yeah. The boss has a particular weakness to bomb rocks. Really? Okay. Oh yeah. Alright, look. It's bomb rocks. I found a mysterious rock. I'm thinking maybe it could be used as our new weapon. For now, I'll keep the Pikmin, carry it separate from the others, and press the L button to select it. What's the L button, Captain? 
Or it's, it's the magic button that, that somebody in the other universe knows. Okay. Alright. Um, have you fought this guy before? Have yes. You, you have? Yep. Alright. So, he's probably one of the easier bosses to deal with, but he can take a long time, which is kind of nice that we're playing normal mode, because we'll basically have all the time in the world and this guy. But before touching that magical cell phone, um, let's get some more bomb rocks. Well, this definitely does not look like a boss arena. <laughs> we're like completely ignoring the thing in the middle. That must be the source of the signal, but we thought it was Olimar transmitting it from here. Ugh, we have to find him. At least we can scavenge that thing to expand the Drake's scanning range. Man, I wish my cell phone battery lasted as long as that. I know. If you look at the world map, you'll notice that it's actually quite different from, like, regular planet Earth. Um... Oh, do you need yellow pigment? Here, I'll give you some. Nope, nope, I got it. You got him? Okay, so... Yeah, it, it definitely helps to grab the, the bomb rocks. Okay, I've been playing, um... Like, I'm less playing the Ocarina of Time right now. And there's things called bomb flowers. But I keep saying bomb box instead in that in that let's play right now. Oh my goodness! I, I, there's like I, I edited the episode today and I just like said I, I kept correcting myself whenever I said bomb rocks, but there was like five extra times I said it and I didn't like remember at all. All right, so um, you want more picks? Uh, I mean, till our Pikmin will get mixed up soon enough. Fair enough. All right. Let's do this. Just one Pikmin. That's all the bait we need. Wow, he's really digging hard there. He is. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Thank God no, those bombs didn't. Man, those are some DSLs if I ever saw them. DSL. <laughs> Dick sucking lips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so how do we take care of this guy? The, what is he, the squelching mirror slug or something? It's pretty gross. So when he's underground like this, the easiest way to take care of him is just put a bomb in his mouth. Oh, but he's moving. He tricked me. He got snaked. He did snake me, and he's kind of like a snake himself. When he's above ground like that, you just charge your yellow pickman at him, and you and they will dig him out of the ground really easily. But I have all of them. All right, let's. Center Pikmin at him. Yeah. Take him down. All right, come on, little dudes. Man, I have all the Pikmin. That's okay. Oh boy, that's okay. I am the captain after all. All right. Get him. Dig him out of the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him beat me really quickly. You gotta love Nintendo bosses and their phases. Oh, Pikmin. You wanna get out of there. Oh my goodness, you need to get out of there as quickly as possible. That poor little yellow Pikmin. Come on, get over here! Nah, he's, it's, he's, it's over oh, for there him. There we go. I got him, I got him. Alright, now we can do this. This is actually pretty scary. Oh, oh wait, it's good. Right, good. Throw a bomb in his mouth. Oh, is it not gonna reach? Oh, he got it! He he's ate done. it, and he's dead! He's Game over, boys. Man, I can't even imagine this loss on super hard mode where, like... Oh, that's why he's so fat. Because he ate a whole watermelon hole. That's disgusting. It is disgusting. Um, man. Alright. Cool. I'm curious to see... We have way more... Oh, man, we're, like, equal with Rock and Yellow Pikmin. Do we want, like, a stupid amount of rock pigment or a stupid amount of yellow pigment? I'll let you make the decision. <laughs> uh... I, I don't know. Stupid amount of rock pigment. Alright. In that case... Oh, I guess I have all the pigment, don't I? Yep. <laughs> I guess I'll just do this, then. Um, I don't know. I guess, um... There's so much of the level to do. Yeah. So just kind of the rest collecting fruit. I, I didn't even think we'd have, like, this much time to like do stuff. I, th I thought this would take way longer. You can just kind of do your thing if you want to. I don't know. I don't have any Pikmin. You're right. I did take them all. Here, you know what? I'm gonna get everybody, grab all this stuff, 
And then I'm gonna let go of all of these guys. Are you gonna oh, have all you, guys? You wanna open the uh That's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's yeah. a really good idea. Um, sweet. I was playing this game on my own and I was trying to uh, get all of this done in hard mode, which is only 15 minute days. And I was able to beat this guy so fast, but the way the AI works for the for, for the Pikmin is that they don't they won't go forward with anything they have if there's anything in the way and oh my goodness it was just like there was like the tiny little piece of watermelon like in the way of the mirror slug and it like and it, it caused me to be like just like that much away from getting it back to the onion and I had to I had to start over the whole day because of that I was so upset so yeah we can't get there yet we need to build a bridge all right so Let's just open up the map and mm -hmm. figure out what's going on here. Okay, we can go up here. This way, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to go up there. I think the bridge parts are there anyways. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go get that one piece of fruit here. Yeah, do it, man. I'm gonna go, there's another, uh, rock wall in this level, and I'm gonna just go ahead and break it, if you don't mind. Okay. The nice thing about, like, these bigger levels, once you get past the tutorial, is you can just, like, uh, you, you, you can just start separating, and I don't know, it's really fun to just be able to do your own thing. There's lots of objectives in this level that you really don't need other people to do. Yep, that's why we're playing together, so we can ignore each other. Yep! <laughs> that's alright. That's what friends are for. Yep. Is this wall always here? I don't remember it being here. Oh, analyzing. Is this the cell phone? Yeah, let's That's see. really quick. Oh ho! Looks like an incoming message from the Drake. I like the way um, Alf says Drake. He's always like Drake. <laughs> I don't know. He rolls his tongue. It's really funny. Analyzing recovered item. Folded data glutton. A communication device once used on this planet. Its signal strength is very powerful, and it contains technology unknown to Kopai. Its transmitter is fully intact. This can be folded. Oh wait, this can be folded in two. Unbelievable! I'll have Elf inspect this and see if we could use any of its components in the Drake's communication system. Yeah, right. Because they uh, they've mastered the secrets of uh, of interstellar travel, but don't know what that cell phone does. Honestly, I think it's so funny. <laughs> I think it's really funny that it's that it's like that. I don't know. I mean, like, clearly we're communicating some way, right? We're, like, we're not all together, so we have to communicate some way, but it's not yeah. Oh, you're going. To, okay, I know where you're. I know where you're going. That's actually a really useful item to get pretty early. Mm-hmm. It's like one of those uh, claw machines. Yeah. Hmm, this looks kind of familiar. I need to get it back to the Drake so I can analyze it. There's items like that in Pikmin 2. And one might argue that they were done better in that game. Yeah, that's uh, the starting area, I think. That's where Alf actually fell on his ass that one time. I realize that. I think his face print's still in there. <laughs> oh, you got the dapper plum? Or the, the dapper blob that is a plum? Yeah, awesome. You can't get that without water pickling, right? Yeah, we need those blue picks in order to get that one. There is another way to get it. And it involves the cheapest pickling in the entire game. I mean, it's not really a secret, it's on the box art, but there's a there's a fifth Pikmin type that's new to this game that breaks the entire game, because once you get it, you can pretty oh, much shit. do everything. They look flaming enemies, if only, uh... If only we had... <laughs> had red Pikmin. I mean, you could just... you have any rock Pikmin? Nope. Actually, I think all of the Pikmin are, on the, are at the onion now. Yeah. What's the... oh, is this the thing you just grabbed? Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like an incoming message from the Drake! 
Analyzing recovered item. Metal suit Z. This undergarment increases this spacesuit's durability. I remember seeing these back on Popeye. Not easy to come by these days. Aha! It's even got instructions with it. Let's note this down in exploration notes. Increase the durability of your spacesuit. So, not that, like, I found this to be, like, the worst upgrade, I think. As long as I'm wearing this little gizmo, a few bumps and bruises shouldn't be a problem. I mean, have you ever played Pikmin and your captain actually died? I like, did not even realize that that was possible. Like, that, that little green circle next to your guy is, like, your health. And okay. it goes down. You say so. It's, it's the truth. Uh, you wanna grab all the Pikmin? They're, they're all at the, at the onion at this point. Yeah, sure. Uh, look at that. You just go back around the way you came. Uh, I jumped off a cliff, though. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to dike around those uh, fire monsters. Um, I mean, you can just, you, you, we don't need all those yellow Pikmin anymore. I just usually like the yellow Pikmin for the boss fight because they dig out the mirror slug like way quicker. Yeah, I'll come back with some I mean, we don't really need to take those guys out. Once we get the bridge going, they won't even come here anymore. Um, Fair enough. I am a bloodthirsty. Fair enough. Yeah, they're really long the days, but it only means that you get a lot of stuff done. Once we, like, once we have every Pikmin type, we're gonna clear these days out and like one shot, or these areas out in like one shot. Um, so I'm gonna put away a bunch of these guys. There's still a few places here. Yeah, definitely. Alright. Alright, um... I'm gonna... So that bridge is definitely really important, but I also still wanna... I guess I'll get these guys to work on the bridge, slowly but surely. Yeah, okay, they're all doing it. And then I'm gonna break down the last wall. I don't even remember a wall being here for some reason. I don't know, it's, it seems strange to me. Um, but there is a wall over here that I will be breaking promptly. The last rock. Or bomb rocks. Perfect. Alright. Oh, uh, I guess I'll get these guys to work on these two. Your bloodthirst has been quenched for now. Alright. Uh, I swore I saw there's some grapes. They're right here, but we'll wait for the bridge to be built. Actually, there's an avocado right near the graves, and you're definitely supposed to like get up there to get it, but you can literally throw yellow big and they'll just grab it and go. Now that the bridge is done, I want to get them to fix. Let's get these grapes back. Hope the kiwi's going the right way. Don't go that way. Why are you guys going this way? Is the bridge not fixed yet? It is fixed. They're going the wrong way. Did you kill those guys though? Yeah, I did. Okay, well, I guess that's fine then. Um, do you have a lot of yellow Pikmin, or did you use them all? Uh, I used them all. Alright, that's fine. Um, that's okay. There's like a bridge. Oh wait, there's not Pikmin. What's going on? Oh, I took those Pikmin. Oh, there. Oh, under the branch, I see. 
Um, okay, so I've got some. Oh, that's over here. Okay. We got a lot of fruit today. A lot more than I thought we were gonna get. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of yellow pixels. Sorry, I'm just. Here. They're still taking the grapes. Okay. Yeah, there's they, there's bridge pieces there. That's why. Oh shit. That's oh, off. Oh no, that thing. Okay, you gotta be careful because that that thing does not go back to sleep quickly. So. Die just the best you can. Right, I'm just gonna put all these guys away. We do not need them anymore. I am gonna go to that other location. And Where is the um? They're all we're, all the other Pikmin. Yeah, the the guys who had the avocado. Okay, they're, they're not right there. Make, are they gonna make it? They might. I mean, you can check on them. I'm gonna try to run to where the great Pikmin are because I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but I want to try to save them if I can. Yeah, they they got it. I should call them back. Just uh, where are they? There's only one Pikmin there. Oh. It's it's actually not one of the great Pikmin. It's just when I was killing the fire guys, I just left him there by mistake. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so it's just the one Pikmin? Yeah. But I want to save him, though. Nice to find him. No, I'm going to save him. Come on. I got him! No Pikmin left behind! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All the pick we left behind. That was a really productive day, David. Yeah, we're gonna get like, we're gonna get like eight days of fruit right now. Yeah, I can't wait for super hard mode where you bring back like a watermelon and it gives you one cup of juice. I, I, I want it to be that hard. I like desperately want it to be that hard. You have to get like everything we did today. You have to get done in one day, but only a quarter of the time. Oh my god, imagine seven minute days, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> oh my god, you can't even do anything in that amount of time. Oh jeez. Alright. Alright, so... Look at all this fruit we got, it's all new except for the dapper blob. Can't, I can't wait to taste a new hit, new fruit. The pocked? Poked? Pocked? Airhead? How would you say this? The pocked airhead. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's not that's like a whole thing of fruit right there. It's a whole day right there. Oh, that's more. It's more. It's like oh, two days of fruit. Oh, this game actually like completely like... Oh, jeez, oh, another day? Underestimates you? Yeah, it's like half of another day. I mean, it is like a children's game and we're playing it on the easy mode. Yeah, that's true. I guess we... Oh, that did not produce very much. Well, it's, it's all part of one fruit. It just all broke into different pieces. I love the names for them. I can't remember what they called the kiwi though. I think it had a funny name too. Like this thing is gonna give us a lot of fruit. Or a lot of juice, my bad. Watermelon juice? Oh, now that I think about it, like, whatever... I, don't, I wouldn't want to drink that. An avocado juice? Ew. Like, mixed with anything? I... I've never heard of avocado juice. Like, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's not a very, like, moist fruit, so... Like, imagine juicing an avocado and then adding it with, like, a... Like a... Like a plum or something. Ugh, gross. Yeah. I mean, the whole point of avocado is the texture. Oh, wait, isn't this a plum? Yeah, that's, that's a plum. Oh, what's the other thing, then? Um... Oh, I have no idea. I don't know my fruit well enough. I oh, I mean... Maybe it was a fig or something? No, no those figs are like that orange thing. It's a velvety dream drop, as they call it in this game. It's weird because it shows that we got the stem, but the stem's actually totally still there. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The other thing is, like, these are very much, like... We're, we're, why is there just, like, a kiwi in the middle of the forest? In the middle of a tree? But like kiwis grow on trees. Sorry, that was a. Uh, uh, th that was. I mean, your point still but stands, I mean, like, but why only one? Imagine you find like an entire apple tree. There's like a hundred apples on it. I don't know. You're right, though. The first game made more sense. 
that you're finding ship parts, I, yeah, definitely. Because that makes more sense for them to just be kind of everywhere. Or, or the treasures. The treasures? That's in the second game. Yeah. But I mean, like, the thing with the treasures is, why would they still be above ground? The ship parts, it makes sense, because it broke up and went everywhere. Anyways. Um, anyways, we have reached the end of the day, which means the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and then you know what? Maybe subscribe too while you're at it. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Oh, we didn't read the thing again. <laughs> That's okay, we'll read it the next episode. <laughs>